Hello booktubers! It's Friday today, so I thought I'd make a Friday Reads video. I am reading a bunch of different books at the moment, mainly uh, Salem's Lot by Stephen King. I've been tweeting about it a bit. I'm actually more than halfway through. I'm on page 430, that was difficult to say. Um, and I am loving it, um, I have to admit, it's been kind of difficult <laughs> going to bed this last couple of days cause it's kind of freaking me out. I haven't read a horror book like this since I read uh, Harbor and Let the Right Run In by the Swedish author. Jonaida the Lindqvist, um, and they're both very, you know, King is very good at telling stories, you really get to know uh, the characters in here, even the ones that's not protagonists in any way, but you really get to know the city, or town in this case, uh, as a whole, and the kind of uh, community, and that just makes the story even more terrifying because you really feel like you're there and you know these people and you feel for them even the ones you hate like a mother beating her kid that was uh, probably the worst <laughs> part I think I was so horrible um, but yeah it just makes you feel like you're actually there and I'm loving that um, and it feels like this story could actually be true, true, and I'm guessing that's the point, but it's still, it's freaky. I mean, this is about monsters, I'm not gonna tell which ones, because I think that's something you'd like to get to know for yourself. I knew, but you read a while before you actually get to know what's happening, really. And that's also a thing that I really like about King. Because when I read Pet Cemetery, I didn't really know what was going to happen. It took such a long time for the horror stuff to actually happen. But there was so much suspense. And you really got to know the family and the community in that book as well. And it just made the horror parts even worse. Uh, and the book as a whole so much better. Um, so yeah, even if he writes quite long books, this is over 600 pages, I definitely think it's worth it. Uh, I'm really liking his style, and I am loving this book so far. Um, I'm gonna try and finish this this weekend. I also picked up a poetry book two weeks ago at the library, um, and I read uh, some of it last night, and I am loving it. Uh, it's Emily Bronte's Complete Poems. This is by C.W. Hatfield, uh, edited by him. And this is just wonderful. I am so in love with her language and use of uh, words, you know, putting together words. Her, the atmosphere and sort of I'm in love with Emily Bronte. I love her. If I could be a Bronte sister, I'd be Emily Bronte. And I also couldn't resist picking up uh, Shirley Jackson's Lottery and other stories. And I've just... I think I read five stories in here. Uh, and I think there's 15 or something. I started <laughs> with The Tooth, which I've heard great things about. Um... It wasn't what I expected, but I, I really like how she makes you feel. Uh, she's also very down to earth and uh, describes this very realistic uh, surrounding. And that just makes the fantastical or horror parts worse uh, in a good way. Uh, the tooth wasn't really... I thought it was gonna be something real crazy, but it wasn't really, but there's a lot of suspense in her stories that I think 
are the most important parts of her writing. Um, I've talked about We Have Always Lived in the Castle quite a bit on this channel, and I loved it. And I mean, it's classed as a gothic uh, kind of horror fiction, but it's really not that horrible. It, there's no blood and such things, but her suspense and the way she tells a story on uh, how she lets you know certain things, um, sort of like King in a way, only not as many characters, <laughs> I guess. Um, but yeah, I really like that when things are building up and you, uh, you get this whole atmosphere and feeling nagging you and you read, read along and get to know stuff and it's just very mysterious and uh, I like it. So that was it for my Friday reads, so I'll be reading this, these, hopefully finishing Salem's Lot. I have a lot of writing to do to my paper, so yeah.